Hey guys, welcome back. This is Rahul, and in this video, we will be learning about how to use XPath in Cypress. Yes, it is possible to use XPath in Cypress, and uh, most of you who are coming from Selenium background uh, and people who are having expertise in using XPath would like to use XPath in uh, Cypress. Uh, so to do that, we will need to use one uh, module. We will need to install one module and uh, that is just an npm module and we can install it using npm command so it is npm install and uh, cypress hyphen xpath so it is a very small module it will be installed within a uh, few seconds only yeah it is installed so uh, if I open the package.json file, you can see a new dependency is added. This is cypress.xpath and uh, we need to open the uh, support folder and in the index.js file, we have to like mention that the dependency is required. So we will say require and pass the dependency name. So it is cypress-xpath and save this file okay so now we can use xpath in our uh, test cases so in the previous example like we have used this uh, application to uh, login so i'll be using the same uh, example but instead of using the css selector we will use uh, xpath so i'm creating a new spec file xpath demo dot spec dot js and I'll copy paste the same code but I'll remove the last few lines which are the locators one okay so we will write new locator for this so if you if I write cy dot xpath uh, you can see it is available now cy.xpath is available now and we have to provide the locator value the, it should be xpath and we can perform the function like we were doing it so let me just open the application and we need to uh, get the xpath of this sign in button so I just locate this sign in button and uh, let's use selectors hub again because it is really simple just uh, click on the sign in button and uh, in the text box you just type double slash and you can see this a is coming because the tag is starting with a and if i type the bracket you can see all the unique locators are coming so you can select anything uh, to use as, as the x path so I, if I use this class is equal to login, this button is highlighted. So I can just paste it here and change the single uh, quote to double quotes. Okay. So this is the XPath line. Let's just run the test case. I'll open the Cypress runner, npx Cypress open. Okay, you can see the XPath demo file. So I paused the video because it was it was taking too much time. Uh, so yeah, you can see uh, the website is loaded and uh, sessions are passed. And we clicked on the uh, sign in button and we are now on the login page. You can see this XPath and the click uh, operations are mentioned here. Okay, now we will try to uh, like type in the email and the password field. So we will need the XPath for these two fields as well. Okay, so I'm just uh, grabbing the text box and using the selectors hub, I'll type double slash input and the bracket. You can see this ID equal to email is coming. Okay, the text box is highlighted, and I'll use this.
so cy dot x path and just passing the x path of the locator and change the single uh, quote to double quotes i'll pass the uh, email id in the uh, type function and similarly i can fetch the uh, locator for password as well so it is double slash input bracket then we can see all the unique locators so you can see the password text box is highlighted so instead of using the xpath let's see if i type cy dot uh, get what will happen like would it be able to uh, locate the element and perform the operation or not so cy dot get and then the xpath and in the uh, type function i'm just giving some digits and then we will extract the uh, locator for uh, the sign in button okay so i'm just uh, copy pasting the code and i change the locator value so to extract the sign in button's locator value you can see uh, like button double slash button and then we can see id is submit login okay it is highlighted so we have uh, two xpath three xpath statements and one get statement so just let's just run it save it and it will out run automatically so it typed the email address but it wasn't able to uh, type the uh, password because uh, syntax error basically we are passing the xpath but uh, we are asking it to get so get will work only with uh, css selectors so if we are passing xpath we have to use cy dot xpath so you can see like we clicked on the sign in button and uh, yeah it typed on both the fields and clicked on the sign in button yeah here you can see it typed the email address and then identified the password field and typed the password and then the sign in button and clicked on it so if i want to use uh, xpath for some locators and css for some locator uh, we can also do that so if i just uh, like change this statement with cy.get and see if it works or not let's see so cy.get and this is the id so we know that if we if we are using id we can just uh, do use it with the, the hash symbol so if i save the test case and let's see if it's working or not so it clicked on the sign in button and it typed on both the fields yes it is working fine absolutely fine so in this video we learn about how to use xpath in cypress thank you guys